Hi, I'm Julian. There are some cases that some guys are using RDS MySQL database on Alibaba Cloud, and they want to move their database instance around to do some changes, such as business application location change, and they want to move DB instance close to the new application. This location change may include cross availability zone or even cross region. And for example, in most of cases, the old DB instance has been purchased in subscription mode with one year. After migrating to the new DB instance, based on my experience, you can apply with submitting a ticket to refine the old DB instance and use the new one. So for this RDS MySQL DB instance migration topic, I decide to make a tutorial to share with you the steps of how to do that. So basically, this is our objectives. We will try to use the service called Alibaba Cloud DTS, a data transmission service, to smoothly migrate from the old RDS MySQL to the new one. After the database has been migrated, but I will show how to modify the database endpoint URL in RDS to avoid changing the URL within the application. Since you may already have the application running online and do not want to stop it to change the DB URL, but still keep using the original DB URL on the new DB instance. The prerequisite I will have an existing RDS MySQL database. And I will wrote an application mimic the application reading and writing against the database. So first, I already have a small RDS MySQL database instance on Alibaba Cloud. And here, I will just use the DMS data management service as a graphic user interface tool to try to access this database instance. And to mimic the application, I will first try to create some table inside the database. Here we have a database named test MySQL. And I will create a table named the test table one with three columns in this table. Column one is the data type int and column two with the data type var char. And let me add a new column, uh, column three with the timestamp. Okay, let's execute to create this table. Here, I have a source code to mimic the application, Java application. Here, I run the application. Uh, here are two windows. The first one is to mimic the uh, reader to count the total record count in the table that I just created. And another application is trying to insert the data into this table. Step one, I will create the new RDS MySQL database instance where I want it. So let's try to create another RDS MySQL database instance. Here, I would like to uh, create uh, some bigger 
RDS MySQL instance uh, with larger specification, such as eight cores and 66, uh, 64 gigabytes memory. and then place the order. Okay, the instance has been purchased successfully. And let's go back to the web console. And you can see this instance is in the creating status. And let's modify the uh, instance alias to better identify the, this database instance. Step two, then, I will use the DTS to migrate the content in the database. Basically, the schema metadata, full data, will be migrated. Since during the migration before endpoint switch over, the application may still have the new data coming in into the old database, and we do not want to miss them. So this incremental data should also be migrated to the new database instance. This is very important for the smooth and business continuity. So let's go to the DTS, the data transmission service. And within the same region of the RDS instance in Hong Kong region here, and let's configure the data migration task. First, let's configure the source database which is the RDS instance. So let's select the old database instance, which has the name of small RDS MySQL, and input the database account here. Test the connectivity. And then configure the destination database, which is the later the bigger RDS MySQL instance just we just created. And when we try to migrate the data, first we need to create a database account uh, in the new RDS MySQL database instance. So let's create the database account here. and then go back to the DTS web console, input the account just created, and test the connectivity. The next step, let's configure the migration types with the schema migration, full data migration, and incremental migration. Here, we have a database, which is the test MySQL, and we select this object to be migrated to the new database instance. And the DTS migration task will be entering the pre-checking steps. As you can see that the pre-checking has been passed successfully, then we will just 
want to kick off or start the real DTS migration task. Click the next to the next step. Okay, for the incremental uh, DTS migration specification, you need to specify the uh, migration channel spec and select to purchase this uh, DTS migration channel task. And refresh the web page. Now let's start the uh, application to mimic the business application online with the reader and the writer against the old RDS MySQL instance. And now the data migration task has already been kicked off. And the business application is still running against the old MySQL database instance. So the task shows that the schema migration has been finished. That means the metadata has been migrated to the new database instance. And then the full data migration has already been finished as well with 792 record migrate in the full data migration phase. And the incremental data migration phase has already been kicked off. Now, Let's go to the new RDS MySQL database instance to create the public endpoint. For later, we will just try to modify the endpoint of the new database instance. Okay, as you can see, the public endpoint of the new database instance has been created successfully. As the migration step has been finished, and the step three, I will replace the new database instance endpoint with the old database instance endpoint to finish the switch over. Now let me change the public endpoint in the original RDS database instance to a new one. Since we still have the DNS cache in the network router, and the application is still keeping the database connection, so the connection is still running there without disconnecting from the application to the database. So let's go to the new database instance to modify the endpoint with the original uh, endpoint that the business application was using before.
OK, the endpoint has been modified successfully. Actually, the endpoint has already been switched over to the new database instance. Since the database connection is still uh, alive, connecting the application to the database, then we go to the old database instance to try to delete the source database object. And the business application will throw an error and try to disconnect from the database and reconnect again. The new connection will connect to the new database instance actually. So this demonstrates the switch over has been finished from the old DB instance to the new DB instance. You can use the DMS to connect to the new DB instance to check the data in the new RDS MySQL instance as well. And the data has all been migrated to the new DB instance, and the business application is still running against the new one. So, so far, the database engine has been replaced on the fly successfully. And you can release the old RDS MySQL instance now. Thank you so much for your watching. See you next time.